to another Grace Creative session. My name is Lauren and I'm the project intern here at Grace. And today we're going to be making a 2021 vision board. So our end goal is going to look something like this. Super fun, super cute. Um, and you'll be able to see all your goals that you have for 2021. So the first thing to do is go ahead and take out all of your supplies. Um, go ahead and put your garbage bag down first and all your supplies on top. That way the garbage bag can catch anything. We're gonna be doing a lot of painting today and a lot of stuff with glitter. So it's gonna get a little bit messy. So go ahead and take out your canvas and we're gonna paint this. This is gonna be the background of our vision board. I am going to go ahead and paint this all black just because I like black and I want the glitter to pop, but feel free to use any other paint. Um, if you've been with us for a little bit and have gotten art kits, you might have something like this in one of your art kits or a previous art kit, feel free to pull that out. And some of you might also have some paints and tubes in some of your art kits. So we want you guys to get creative, you can pick and choose whatever you want. Also, I'm going to be making mine all one color, but again, you don't have to do that. You can do rainbow, you can do multiple colors, whatever you like. So I'm going to go ahead and take my black paint, because I like black, and I'm going to paint the whole canvas. Now, depending on what you guys want it to look like, you may need to do this a couple times and go over it with a few coats of paint, and that's okay. So give yourself a little bit of time to do that. Also, if you guys are doing a thin layer of paint, I would encourage you to do the brush strokes all the same way. If you're gonna do a couple layers, then it doesn't really matter. Um, but with the thin layer, you can kind of see where all the brush strokes are. So just a little pro tip for you as you're painting. So I'll kind of show you guys what mine looks like. As you can see, you can really see the paint strokes. So I'm actually gonna do a couple of coats before I move on to the next step. Okay, so once your canvas is dry, it'll look a little something like this. Obviously, if you do different colors, it'll look a little bit different. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scrap piece of paper, your Mod Podge, and your second paintbrush, and we're gonna make um, a little title at the top of this canvas. So. If you want to kind of see the example here on this one, I wrote 2021 goals. So you are free to write that. You can write vision board. You can just write 2021, um, whatever you would like. But I'm going to go ahead and write 2021 goals. So take your paintbrush and your Mod Podge. Now the trick with this is that you want to do one number or letter at a time um, because we're going to cover it with glitter. So if you put Mod Podge down and you leave it too long, it will get like a little bit dried. And so you want to try to avoid it getting too dry so that the glitter still sticks. Now, if you guys don't have a scrap piece of paper, that's okay. You can just use your garbage bag, but I like to use a scrap piece of paper um, just in case. So if you have one around, go ahead and grab it. If not, that's okay. I'm gonna place the scrap piece of paper under my canvas and I'm going to write with the Mod Podge and the paintbrush. And I'm going to do one number at a time. Go ahead and put the glitter on there. I'm just freehanding this. If you want to use a pencil to kind of figure out where you want your letters and numbers to be, um, you can do that as well. Sometimes freehand is the funnest though because it looks a little bit funky, you know. If it doesn't come out perfect the first time, that's okay. 
um, we can still add glitter a little bit later, so don't be too stressed about that. And one more. I'm gonna kind of let the glitter just sit on there for a little bit, let it soak in. You can kind of see that a little. And then I'll start on my goals. When you're doing this, just keep in mind, you wanna keep a little space at the bottom because we're gonna hang some string down there. So try not to make the title of your board too large, um, just to leave yourself a little bit of room, a little bit of space at the bottom. And then as you're doing this part of it, I'd like you guys to really think about what goals you wanna write down on here. Um, with a new year, it's exciting to like have goals, attainable goals that you want to reach for and practice. And with this board, it's kind of fun because you can look at the goals every day. Um, and that's really important when you're trying to do something or accomplish something to be able to see it every day to remind yourself of the little things you can do each day to reach that goal. I'm going to do all capital letters on mine just because it's a little easier to draw freehand. But feel free to do whatever you think will look nice. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to let it sit there just for a few minutes to make sure that it grabs onto all the glue. And again, if you have that piece of scrap paper, you can use that. If not, you can just use your garbage bag. I'm going to go ahead and put the excess glitter onto the scrap piece of paper. You might need to brush it away a little bit. Sometimes the glitter gets a little stuck on there. And it'll look a little something like that. If you have your scrap piece of paper, I like to um, fold it together so that I get to save some of the glitter and put it back in the little container, just in case I wanna use it next time. I'm gonna fold that and put that aside for now. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this, we're not gonna to touch the top so we can move on to the next step. We're gonna go ahead and um, start putting down our string and our goals. So in your art kit, you will have a little baggie. In here has string, little clothes pins, and little scrap pieces of paper that we're gonna write our goals on. Also, you can bring out your tape. Again, if you've been with us for a little bit, you will have this tape in previous art kits. If you can't find that, you will also have some scotch tape in there. So you can use either one. For the sake of ripping the tape and not needing scissors, I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up my baggie and get out the little pieces of string. You should have two pieces of string in there. They might be a little long and that's okay. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of figure out where I want it to be, where I want it to hang. And I'm gonna tape the ends to the back. If the string is too long, feel free to cut it shorter if you want. The back of your canvas may look a little bit messy, but that's okay. No one's really going to see the back of it. I'm going to set out my tape just to make it a little bit easier. And I'm going to go ahead and use the tape to fasten the back. One there.
and one on the other side. I'm gonna cut off the excess right here just so that it's not in the way. So like a little something like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the second string. We're gonna make two rows with the string. Try to leave a little bit of space in between, that way you can hang your goals on it. And a piece of tape there. And a piece of tape right there. Go ahead and cut off the excess string. And it should look a little something like this. So for the next step, take out your little scrap pieces of paper and your marker. You may have one in your bag this time or again from a previous art kit. If you don't want to use a Sharpie, feel free to use whatever markers you have lying around. And you should have six pieces of paper. And you're just going to go ahead and write down whatever goals you want for this season. So for me this season, I really want to drink more water. Um, I really want to journal more. For things like journaling and reading or praying or meditating, I like to give myself a time limit. So. For example, maybe this year I'm going to try to journal 10 minutes each day. So go ahead and write down whatever your goals are on there. You can draw little pictures on there if that helps you too. This is for you, so whatever you like, whatever will keep you motivated. Okay, when you're all done writing your goals, you're gonna take your little clothespins, you should have six in there, and you're just gonna go ahead and hang your goals on the string. I'm doing three um, clothespins per string. So when you're all done, it should look a little something like this. And this is fun because you can hang it in your room um, or wherever you see it every single day and have that at the forefront of your focus to get to your goals. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm excited to do another Grace Creative session with you, so I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.